Hello, I'd like to welcome all of you to our Canada studio. Today we are indoor. Now, yesterday there was a great weather and I was just cycling by the river. And then I made the video on the topic, do you really need drop bars on your road bike? And it became quite popular. I also promised you on that episode to do another one showing you different bikes with flat bars. And I'm glad I did because uh, I want to mention that I've seen on the comments uh, just below that video that some of you, dear viewers, did not fully understand what I meant uh, comparing uh, drop bars to the flat bars. I did not mean that flat bars is better. I was just showing you that uh, from my experience, what I see that there is many guys like uh, amateur enthusiast cyclists who would buy road bike with the road specific drop bars just because most of their or all of their riding bodies are running bike with the drop bar as you can see here whereas the flat bars could fit better could be more comfortable and safer for them for their flexibility and they, their uh, type of riding so this is what i meant i did not mean that uh, flat bars are more aero i but i did mean that some amateur cyclists who don't know how to fit the bike and how to use uh, drop bars and how to ride on the drops will be less aero uh, when having drop bars than having just simple flat bars so this is what i meant and on this, on this episode i'm showing you different bikes with flat bars now with this these uh, kinds of bikes it's the, that's the most difficult one kind of the bike to be categorized because here is no rules whereas you know from among the road bikes you will have race aero comfy endurance bikes quite easy to find out which one is for for what um, MTB we have cross country, marathon, we have in, you know enduro and downhill, quite easy. Here no rules, so we will have any type of the frame material from steel to um, carbon. We will have different kind of uh, wheel size from 26 through the most common here, which will be the 700C, like 28 inch, uh, up to 29er. Yes, 29ers will be here as well. And then the, the width of the tire will be from usually 28 mils up to 50. Uh, so no rules here, you will see different setups, different components and it's really exciting to, to see. Uh, and I'm telling you, most of the enthusiast cyclists will find something really, really, um, you know, something that will fit their needs. So let's just start with Trek. Trek has uh, those bikes called fitness bikes because each brand will have different kind of the category for those bikes. So fitness bikes here, uh, the family of those bikes is the FX model from around $200 down to a couple of hundreds. Those FX bikes are quite comfy, uh, will usually have I think 28 uh, millimeter uh, wide tires, let's just see. Uh, 28 is just fine but 30, 32 will be even more versatile and uh, also suitable for people who are maybe overweight because fitness bikes are often used for losing weight. Uh, let's just see the, the specs here. We've got 25. Uh, this one is even, in my opinion, 25 is a bit too little for a fitness bike. Um, those FX Trek bikes uh, will maybe not look that awesome and exciting, but this is a huge family, 26 different models, so you will find something that may be interesting for you. But let's just move on. BMC. BMC will call those bikes lifestyle. Once more, those bikes with like road bikes with flat bars will do great job in the city as a commuter bike, will do fine for some training if you are just thinking about your level of your fitness or losing weight. W with their tires will do also great on tarmac, on poor quality roads, on gravel roads and some forest tracks as well. As you can see here, uh, different setups like internal uh, gearing in the Alfini, a rear hub, um, belt instead of the chain still this is one by 11 setup really great um, no uh, front suspension which is really good for fitness bikes in my opinion i would definitely use uh, would like to have light and stiff um, um, just uh, carbon rigid fork in the front so different setups also like a um, normal uh, road uh, crank set with like three by nine three by here three by eleven uh, speed 
So Alpen Challenge, this will be also kind of fitness bike, commuter bike, something that will do on the roads very well. Now Specialized has, for example, the Sirius uh, model or the family called also fitness bikes. Uh, really cool bikes. There are alloy bikes, there are carbon bikes here. Uh, and what I would really recommend here, if you are having flat bars, get bar ends because um, you are right riding on the comments just from the from the video about uh, flat versus uh, drops that uh, on the drop bars we can twist uh, our forearms and change the position and it, it it is really relaxing on the long rides here bar ends will do the job for the flat bars of course you will not have as many positions possibilities on, as on the drop bars, uh, but um, bar ends will do really, really well. Then Cube has very cool SL bikes uh, and those will be called just road bikes. Uh, so kind of trekking, but road bikes uh, with uh, what tires we do have here. I think, I think it's 28 mils. Let's just see tires. Are, no, 35. These have 35. Super comfy wheels here. Many of those bikes will also come with disc brakes, really cool and best looking, badass looking fitness bike uh, for myself is the giant fast road. Uh, it could be uh, the CO Max or Co Max is the carbon one, but they also have the alloy version, but it is super awesome looking bike. Um, whereas the any road is one of the worst looking, in my opinion, sorry, all those Aniroad uh, users, owners, I don't like the look of this one with the drop bars. And then the Merida has their speeder, also uh, alloy and carbon, all those speeder bikes, fit fitness bikes will come with disc brakes. Geometry, one last thing I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mention here. Um, road bike with the flat bars is not simply the, the same frame set with the flat bars. The geometry will be different and let's try to, let's try to analyze. I'm taking the Comfort Diverge Expert road bike with, with the drop bars as the example here. Uh, let's just find a bike who will have the stack. That means how high you sit, like how high the frame is uh, with uh, 59 centimeters. Let's just find similar here. 59, 59 will be, this is uh, 591, so it's almost exact the same. So, whereas the stack, stack between the bike with the flat bars and the drop bars is the same, look at the reach. Reach here is 403 and here 387. What that means is that this frame with the drop bars is shorter and this one with the flat bars is a bit longer. Usually this will be one or two centimeters. Why is it so? Because uh, when you are having uh, the drop bars, you look how far you can lean when you are riding on the hoods or even on the drops. Here, you only have flat bar, so one position, and the bar ends, we, which are not uh, giving you the chance to lean that far. So the frame will be a bit longer, giving you not so upright position as on the like city specific bike. Uh, if you will compare like Cube SL Road to Cube Agri a road bike with the drop bars, uh, which has like, let's say, sporty geometry, you will also see that those bikes with the flat bars, let's see how long it is, 399 and this is 390, whereas the stack here is 573, 573. So the height of the frame from the bottom bracket to the uh, to the actually to the top of the head tube should be uh, but whereas the the height is the same the length will be uh, like larger for the bikes with the drop bars so those guys who also think that they will just get rid on the uh, get rid on the drop bars and put flat bars you can do it but just remember the geometry will change and simply putting a longer stem is not you know, like solving uh, all the problems that will probably come with it um, and you know with the fast road and the any road the any road has so crazy geometry you can know you cannot refer to to fast road geometry uh, but rule of thumb is that the road bike with the drop bars where is the merida 
with the drop bars will be a bit shorter than the road bike also road bike but with the flat bars so that's what I wanted to share with you uh, you should really not exclude the bikes uh, like fitness bikes uh, so-called fitness or lifestyle so on uh, bikes with the flat bars because these can be really comfy really quick on the road as well uh, and be more versatile and lighter perhaps also than the drop bars with the STI shifters so make sure you know you know more now about all those all those bikes if you are riding any of these bikes let us know in the comment section I, I hope now that you have even further information uh, with the episode uh, from yesterday and you will be able to choose the right one for you sorry for talking so long but uh, I was excited really to talk about those bikes thanks for watching I'll see you soon bye bye